This is Yako. He's four months old and he's the most adorable dog one can wish for. I'm about to go and adopt or get golden retriever soon because this is just too cute. He took his leash and is ready to go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. How can you do this dog walking and not want to take them with you? The button has been pressed. Hello, happy people. And welcome to my vlog about dog seating, dog walking, anything related to dogs. I want to tell you about Rover. Rover is the American found app which is dedicated exactly to that, to pet seating. It is mainly about dog seating, but on their page and on their app, they say that you can also do cat seating. So far, I haven't been contacted about the cats. In this vlog, you get to enjoy some of my experiences with the dogs. I filmed obsessively. And I'm gonna tell you some info, which uh, you will maybe find helpful. And in case you love animals as much as I do, you can also get started through this app. I couldn't be happier when one of my clients was four month old golden retriever. Here we are, ready to go for a walk, right? Right, baby, so much sun, so warm. Ella is amable. Flirtation. <laughs> Now that I meet my friends, everyone immediately asks me how is my dog life going? <laughs> how did I find out about this rover opportunity? Honestly, I have been watching a lot of American movies where you get a job like a nanny or a dog sitter and to get paid for this job, like, oh my god, this is my huge dream. He stops a lot, like everywhere. Maybe you should go a bit up further. So this is how I found out about rover. A friend of mine used Rover in London. She said that sometimes she would take dogs home, sometimes she would walk with them. She even had dog-friendly office where she took the doggies. So she really inspired me to use this app. I said, okay, let me check if that exists in Spain and Madrid. The app is here, so great, I registered. And then I just got my profile, assuming this is all that I have to do. Then I didn't get any requests for about six months. I forgot about Rover until I decided to get back to the app. And this time I contacted Rover about the verification, sent them all the necessary documents and made sure my profile is alive and active. As little golden retriever Yako showing us here, patience can be the key. But in some cases, it's also important to be proactive. Then I got like the verification thing and here you go, my profile is alive. Preparing for this vlog, I actually watched a couple of others where people do rover in America. In the US, you actually have to pay to get verified for the background check that they do. Here in Europe, it's for free, so that's good news. But still, even after I got verified, I wasn't getting any bookings. What did I do wrong? And the reason is reviews. I had no reviews and you have to get started somehow. It's basically like you're straight from university and they already want you to have experience. I think when you get registered at any app or any sort of job-related market, that's how it is. Rover can't give you a verified review unless you were booked, but it has such an option called testimonials. You can ask any of your friends who know you, who are familiar with you, maybe you set their dogs for a moment, to leave those testimonials, and that's how it worked for me. Me and this uh, very well-behaved gentleman just going for a small walking. He already had his dinner and I gave him some of his favorite foods. So he seemed very happy with that. Now it seems like he's taking me somewhere. Not sure where. The reviews on Rover are, I can't underline how important they are. Because uh, now I've booked a couple of times and I asked 
people to book me through the app. Because of course anyone can pay you with cash, but it really doesn't make sense because if they pay you with cash, they can't leave you the review. But when they book you through the app, they can easily leave you the review and it shows on your page as verified review. I can show you here how it looks so you get an idea. This is how my profile looks. In case you live in Spain, go ahead and book me. I would love that opportunity. It makes me super excited every time. I'm just like, whenever I have a message from Rover, I'm just running around the house, like super pumped that someone wrote to me. And your client, his name is Dakota. The requests on Rover can be very different. Someone asks you to take their dog to your house. Someone asks you to come to their house. Sometimes it's just dog walking. We are walking and it's very warm and sunny and here is my boy. Suddenly like it's such a big contrast with the first walk. He has so much energy going on. When during lunchtime it was probably too hot for him in Spain and wow look at you. But what's really important is that you don't put your rates up too high because the competition is out there. There are a lot of people who want to walk the dogs. So you have less chance obviously to be booked if you put your rates very high. For me, it's a love story more than anything, not really a business model. Of course, I understand it's nice to make some pocket money from dog walking, dog sitting. I understand some people who want to do that, but my advice is that you really have to love dogs. That's first of all, and that's the most important thing. Our mood today is Ducky, who just fell down and enjoys the massage. You would be surprised, but the dog owners feel how their dogs feel. After I brought Ducky back home, this 14-year-old, very cute Labrador, his owner told me he's so happy, she can see how relaxed he feels, and I was like, well, no wonder after all the scratches I gave him. Rover has this really cool option. Before someone does their booking, there is this option available called meet and greet. You're not getting paid for it, but it's a convenient option for a dog owner to meet you and make sure, I don't know, you're an adequate person that you're not gonna harm their animal and their pet. And I completely get it. If I had a pet, I would also like to see the person up front to know. Maybe I get some weird vibes and then I don't change my mind. So far I had only one meet and greet. Luckily it all went well, I got booked. Also, by no means I'm advertising Grover here. I know that there may be some other apps that's really cool. I'm just uh, actively using this one. So <laughs> that's why this vlog was created with the purpose of sharing my experiences. So apparently Coco is a vegetarian or vegan. I don't know how exactly to make this distinction from him eating the grass, but as far as I know, eating grass is okay for animals. I think nowadays there are so many useful and not so useful apps and I'm kind of happy that there is an app like Rover for animal lovers like me because animals are the purest angels we have out here and when you don't have an opportunity to have one at home, when you travel like me, it's a great way to spend time. I just fall in love with which, each one of them and just want to adopt a dog. As sweet as you. LGBTQI friendly. He's licking my arm. I hope you found my vlog about dog seating, dog walking, <laughs> whatever else dog connected useful. Maybe it will inspire some people to give it a try because why not? Fingers crossed. <laughs> that I will get more bookings as well. And um, thank you, Rover, for creating this app, for allowing animal lovers to connect with animals, even when we don't have them ourselves. Thank you for watching my vlog. Hit subscribe, like, comment. I really, really appreciate it. Yoko Piquet. <laughs>